Hello friends, this is Pastor Kim, and I'm here for delivering the message of God today. If we watch movies, we often see heroes and heroines saving the world, helping the weak, and protecting the world from evil. But have you ever wondered who the real-life heroes and heroines are? One of the greatest examples is Jesus. He came to this earth to save the world, help people, and protect us from evil. To achieve this, Jesus called upon others to join him in his mission. According to today's scripture, some of those who answered his call were Andrew, Simon Peter, Philip, and Nathaniel. When they first met Jesus, they were curious about him and asked him, Hey teacher, where are you staying? In response, Jesus said, Follow me, and you will see the heavens opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Through this encounter, they saw the divinity of Jesus and confessed to him as Messiah, the Son of God, not just a teacher. After their confession, they became disciples and followed Jesus. Being a hero, or heroin in real life means more than just observing evil. It means taking action. We must be ready to help people when they ask for it and face evil when it confronts us. This is exactly why Jesus came down to this earth. He heard the cries of the people, saw their struggles, and descended to earth to reach out to them. To continue his mission and save many more people in the world, Jesus called upon Simon Peter, Andrew, Philip, and uh, Nathaniel. By following Jesus and his teachings, they became heroes who saved countless lives. Remember, being a hero or a hero does not always involve grand gestures. Even small acts of kindness and overcoming temptation can make a significant difference. I hope that each one of you will be inspired to become heroes and heroes who help others just like Jesus and his disciples. The world needs young heroes and heroes like you. Amen.